Greetings, folks. Greetings, folks. It's Monday, the 9th of November. I feel like I have a little bit of work that I need to attend to here, so let me speak a little bit more about um, this music. I'm still absorbing it, but I want to um, pass on um, information and encourage folks to find out about these records, this music I'm about to talk about. Robin Taylor, Taylor's Universe. This gentleman got a hold of me not so long ago and um, from Denmark, and um, I received a package of his music. And um, very appreciative. Um, Robin is a multi-instrumentalist. Primarily, it appears to be a guitarist. He is into sound, and um, uh, I get the impression that he has um, a broad interest when it comes to music. It comes through in these recordings that he sent me, and he sent me uh, several. Taylor's Free Universe. This, and also I keep don't want to forget that on several of these, he's got Karsten Vogel on saxophone, who was in, um, I consider a legendary band, Burning Red Ivanhoe. And then he was also in the band um, Secret Oyster. And I, can I, section 20, yes. Sometimes I can see things. Karsten Vogel, who I've had Secret Oyster Records for quite a while now. Jazz Rock Band. Recently got this reissue of their album, Straight to the Crankin' House. So, um, Robin has, um, Robin's a player is what I'm trying to say. It's not just that he has the cat from Secret Oyster on his album, it's because Robin is good and these other players are good. And so far, what I'm gathering is that this is just what I like, and there's a lot to explore. And I've listened to everything to a degree, but not all the way through. But I want to just uh, honor Robin sending me the music by sharing that I highly recommend. And it sounds like some of you people already know about this. Heidi Land Rover, did you say something about it? Samplicity, I really like what I list, heard of this so far. Um... I hear, I hear everything from things like Soft Machine to Gong to Terry Riley to, um, uh, again, other touchstones of minimal drone and sound exploration and playing jazz, jazz playing, Taylor's Universe. Um, very interesting blend of a band. I just want to get the word out. It's like I'm really not being able to be real super descriptive of the music because I'm still absorbing it. He also sent me these this two-pack, these two three-inch CDs, which I think are ultra cool. I have a collection of three-inch CDs, Taylor's Free Universe. And these are just, just, just in the... The, the fact of the three inch format makes them cool, but the music is really strong, real strong. And I wanna highly encourage people to check out Robin Taylor and Robin Taylor's universe as I will be listening to it more and more myself. I wanna say again, I see other folks online now starting to show where they purchased or have received copies of Florian Arbenz's new release with Greg Osby and uh, this is this is this is tough this is very good this is real vital nourishing wonderful music okay now I am not done because I received the latest from Discus Music's Orchestra of the Upper Atmosphere and I just have to say that for me, this one really hits it. 
I have the other uh, Orchestra of the Upper Atmospheres. This one, it feels like it's just really doing this. I think this is super strong, Martin. At times, it it, it, it makes it, it gives me a flavor of, this is what nucleus, it sounds like a, a, a 21st century nucleus. Um, Ian Carr's nucleus were groundbreaking for English jazz in many ways, and, and the fusion of jazz and rock elements. Um, I regard Nucleus's early records very highly, and this is mo has moved into that territory. Uh, again, I can't be real descriptive of individual tracks except to say this. One of my bugaboos is the rhythm section and drums, and the drums meet my standard here. I'll say it like that, very egotistically. I, I appreciate important good rhythms because I can play the drums and I've been in many bands many bands and I've had the experience where it's like and if I can play if I am the bass player but I can play better than the drummer then I don't need to be necessarily be playing with y'all up your game and the orchestra of the upper atmosphere continues to up the game this is really good number five I'll say this also because I'm I'm just coming straight. Just like this one by R. Benz and Osby, when I put it on and just started and let it go and just tried to let just let the music happen, that one that one started to work right away. Not all music does that for me. Um, not all discus music. Um, well, they're not all the same. But this one, like the the reflections. I could tell that something's going on here right away. It only took a few sections, sec seconds to hear that the ingredients on this are coming together very nicely. So I want to highly recommend these. The Orchestra of the Upper Atmosphere, Robin Taylor, and Robin Taylor's Universe. I can honestly highly recommend this music. It's just what I like, stimulating individual you hear these references of, of touchstones but it's but it doesn't sound like the them this music is its own thing and I really appreciate ha having the opportunity to receive this music listen to it and share it with you um, I appreciate it very much I just got this again uh, another one I got this in from Arthur uh, Keith Tippett recording the monk watches the eagle. Now, this is going to be a heavy listen for me because it's choral. And um, the sound of choirs, I don't particularly like. But that's beside the point because choir music is very powerful. So what I need to do is just get myself together to listen to that with an open, an open mind. I hope everybody's doing okay in these weird times. Um, I'm going to leave it at that.